yes welcome we're going to be continuing from where we stopped uh from the last class we are going to be looking at ecological zones in west africa what is ecology ecology is actually the sum total of the human beings the environment and other uh, plants and animals other living things they are interactions uh, so when you look at the human being you look at plants and animal you look at the environment the geography the forest the rivers the weather the climate of a particular uh, community or geographical description we call it ecology so we're going to be looking at these vis-a-vis -vis West African zones, the ecological zones, the kind of forest and weather that you can find out in different places in West Africa. So the one prominent type of ecology that you find out in West Africa is what we call tropical rainforest, tropical rainforest. So we're going to be looking at tropical rainforest and we're going to be looking at the states in Nigeria where you can find this tropical rainforest kind of uh, ecology. This ecological zone, there is no definite dry season so in tropical rainforest there is no definite dry season you find out there is almost uh they have heavy rains whenever there is rain its vegetation is made up of mostly giant trees so whenever you see vegetation of giant trees we call it tropical rainforest the tallest are referred to as emergent the torrid trees are referred to as emergent they are up to 40 meters tall they are followed by upper canopy that is about 30 meters tall and lower canopy that is about 20 meters tall so you can see that this tropical rainforest is just made up of giant trees vegetation so whenever you hear about giant trees vegetation talk about forest talk about tropical rainforest the animals here are mostly arboreal examples of plants and animals are iroko so when you if you want to know the type of plants and animal that you find in a tropical rainforest talk about iroko mango oil palm tree mahogany used for furniture snakes monkeys baboons gorilla tiger respectively they are mostly found in the south in nigeria you can find tropical rainforest in the southern part of nigeria in states like lagos ondo ogun oyo cross river abia enugu anambra rivers so south southeast south south all those places are tropical rainforests when you get there you're going to see that you see giant trees unlike what you see in the north that has scanty vegetation there is actually giant trees in tropical rainforests and the rainfall is there is about 150 uh, cm and above so that is tropical rainforest tropical rainforest so now we're going to look at another form of ecological zone we we'll call it the savanna or the grassland so this is made up of natural and stable ecosystem it occurs under tropical climate actually it occurs under tropical climate but the vegetation is not as strong as in tropical rainforest it has this continuous layer of sparsely distributed short trees this one is made up of short trees unlike tropical rainforest that is made up of giant trees then these short trees are followed by relatively continuous layers of grasses so you in grassland or savanna you have grasses mostly with short trees some of which are tall medium or short respectively rainfall is below 125 you can see in tropical rainforest the rainfall is about 150 cm this one is below 125 cm it can be divided into four major types the grassland or savanna can be divided into four major types where we have the southern guinea, <coughs> southern guinea savanna the northern guinea savanna the sudan savanna and the sahel savanna so those are the savannas that we have southern guinea savanna northern guinea savanna <coughs> sudan savanna and sahel savanna now Let's look at these various savannas uh, critically. The Southern Guinea Savara, the region has boundary with the forest region and is made up of open woodland and tall grasses with the trees and shrubs scattered. So we have things like uh, Penicetum, Andropogon, Cassipianaceae. Examples of animals here 
We have other plants like Daniela Oliveira. But the animals we have are rats, guinea fowl, grass cutters, snakes, insects, termites, and deers. We have these, you can see these areas in places like in Soka, in Enugu State, Nigeria. We have places like Niger, Niger State, Benue State, Kara State are zones under the southern Guinea savanna. Now let's look at northern Guinea savanna. This zone is the same as the southern Guinea savanna, only that it has trees with more thorns and are more stunted. Examples are sheer borders without milky juice. Cosinia Kirki and uh, Lofira Laciolata. Areas like Kanu and Sokoto fall within the northern Guinea savanna. Then we we'll look at the Sudan savanna, this zone that is much more open and has small leaf deciduous trees that are tagged thorn scrub. It is dry when compared to the Guinea savanna. Rainfall sometimes is below 100 cm. Plants of this region include trees like acacia and elephant grass. Now we also have what we call Sahel. We have the Sahel uh, savanna. The Sahel savanna is extremely dry with an annual rainfall of below 250 mm. And also open grasslands with short and sparsely populated trees. Trees like dates are what we can see in this uh, part of the world. Date palms and euphobia are found here. Those are the trees that are found in Sahel savanna. Now, let's look at another ecological zone known as mangrove swamp or estuarine. You know, we've looked at tropical rainforests, we've looked at savanna grassland. Now we are looking at mangrove swamp or estuarine. They are usually found in the tropics where a river and a sea meet. So you find mangrove swamp or estuary whenever there is the meeting of uh, rivers and seas. And that meeting point of rivers and sea, we call this estuary. It is a difficult habitat for plants and animals to survive due to the following reasons. Estuary or mangrove swamp is very, very difficult for plants and animals to survive in due to the following reason. One, Fluctuating salt content. The salt content is not stable because you know that seas are very much in salt, whereas rivers are less in salt. So when they mix, there is this fluctuation. It's not stable. So it's difficult for plants and animals to survive therein. Lack of aeration. There is no much air because of the plenty water. So it's uh, difficult for plants and animals to survive. Then another thing is mobility of the soil. There is constant movement of the soil because it is being carried by this swamp. Or estuarine plants like red mangrove, rhizophora, avicennia, white mangrove, sesuvium, salt loving halophytes are known to survive here. Others are trees and breathing roots. Animals like mollusks, crabs, tilapia, starfish, oyster, birds, and mosquitoes are found in mangrove swamp. So those are the uh, ecological zones that we have. In subsequent classes, we are going to be looking at the forms of our, uh, our products that we'll see in these zones. Thank you and God bless you. Please, if you like this, please hit the subscribe button. If you have any question regarding this and other things that we are offering you here in T Class 5 and Jam Work Nico Union, please hit me up on the comment section. If you need any information or con to, to contact me with, please check the description part of this video for all these. Thanks and God bless you.